Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. Today, the issue at hand would be the rebels around Paris, in the French region, or the region of France. And um, there's quite a few of them. They spawn two full stack and then another additional two units, so most likely we'll be fighting them today. Hopefully they'll actually all draw in towards Paris. But before that, we've got another battle, and that is down here in the south of France. I've got a pretty interesting fight, because I'm so kind of heavily outgunned by the enemy. Now, I do have more troops, I believe, than he does, but my troops are shit in comparison. I can't imagine these, yeah, reloading skill of 20, ours 25. Uh, these, it does, I can't actually see, but I imagine that is similar to uh, one of our normal infantry units. So that's a reload skill of 54. So the enemy is at least then twice as fast, winning every bullet my guy fires, they fire two, I think, roughly, or somewhere around there. So it's not going to be easy. And I think that's it. There doesn't seem to be anything going on on the eastern front. And soon enough, we'll have winter come in and grip the eastern front. And there will be no movements at all on that side. So before we deal with the rebel uprise around Paris... We'll first have to deal with Andre Gourand and his force. Links needs to ooh, they've got a cannon as well. Now it's certainly dipped very much in the favor of the enemy. I did not realize that he was going to have an artillery piece, and the fact that I'm also not outnumbering them. As much as I thought we're only outnumbering them by about 800 men. That's still about twice the numbers, but I st still probably would have liked at least 1,500 men more. To uh, have some kind of a chance. This is going to go bad. But it's better to fight than to starve out, so... Let's fight the good fight. The key is really going to be the reinforcement. These guys weather, sir. Wet powder makes misfires a certainty. are not going to have a good chance against the enemy. We'll set up, though, in this forest, preparing to defend it. As the French push forward, the artillery is going to just absolutely destroy my guys. I'm hoping the reinforcement arrives soon. We'll have to press them into battle. As soon as possible. Right. Four men, not too bad. Actually, five men, not too bad. In this first artillery strike. But I think they only fired one gun. Here comes the next shot. Oh, it only took out two that time. So it's pretty okay. Where is my re... Yes. Nice. My reinforcements are actually turning up behind the enemy. So we'll rush to the rear of the enemy formation immediately. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! And with the enemy, I thought with the way the enemy was walking, it was kind of looked like they were almost walking past. Okay, so here's some of the starved troops. I mean, I will... All the reinforcement army will do is come up here, kill the artillery, kill the general, and then be able to take positions behind these covers while these guys are busy trying to attack these two units. I think it kind of looks like they're detaching two units to move back to stop us from getting at the artillery. These guys are taking their time getting in position, and given that they're attacking from such an angle, I should angle my troops as well. Pull them back just slightly there. 
So, so far only two units. Let's speed this up a little bit. This shouldn't be the main fight. Oof. They're focusing in on the general unit. Ah, oh, pitiful casualties on the enemy. I have three units on really focusing in on that one unit. I think we'll advance this one slightly, hoping to get a bit of a better shot here. We have taken out less than 50 men. My men over here rushing. If I might get to the wall, at least I will provide quite a bit of cover against these. Oh, they're even sending the artillery now to face the reinforcement. How clever of them, the bastards. You shouldn't be turning. Hold that for as long as possible. You know what? The key here is really to hold out for the reinforcements to arrive and to make the the real punch on the enemy formations. Hurry, gentlemen, hurry! There's no time to waste. I don't know, the enemy is so close. And now they've actually started opening fire upon us, so I don't know if it's worth it trying to push up to the wall. You know what, we might as well, even though it's a bit risky. These three to the front quickly. Of course, these guys aren't protected by the wood, so we're suffering heavy casualties. Okay, we moved further back in the woods. Now we've actually done some damage here when the enemy is not returning fire. To the wall, I'd say. To the wall. Hurry. I've ordered you to the wall multiple times. I don't know why it's taking so long. Let's see. These guys are kind of moving back. And now we're actually doing a bit of a number on them. Okay, we've made it to the walls. So for the, this should protect the landwehr quite a bit. The fire rate and so on is obviously reduced even more. But the fact that we are covered now should help a lot. You two should actually move into the forest and attack from over there. And now these should push out, push after these. Although they shouldn't attack until these guys are firing towards what's going on over here. Quickly now, didn't I tell you to run? Oh, what's going on here? Ah, uh, they're stuck in melee now. Move forward to the edge of the woods. That isn't the general... No, that's not the general unit of the troops that came back. You will walk towards here. We have a great opportunity, even if this unit is suffering, we have a great opportunity to destroy one of the French units here. Our men are running, sir. Okay, that unit is now running. However, we've whittled that French unit down to 30 men. I need more men to the front. Now these are soon to join the fight. I've got plenty of rifles here being able to level on the enemy as they're uh, locally outnumbered and also their artillery hasn't been able nice the unit is destroyed we need to gain ground and push some good fire upon these now you should speed up and get into position 
Hurry! Hurry! Everyone run! So these guys still behind the wall. I think we're pretty good set here to destroy this unit as well. Which would leave the enemy with only three units of infantry. Focus if I can on the enemy artillery. Okay, they're charging. But there's only like a handful of them, so that's pretty stupid. And they're dead. They're moving their artillery piece. If they're moving that closer, I'm, I imagine they are going to move it closer. Even though it's going to make it even worse for them. We'll get to the back of the defensive line here. Or actually, I sort of stopped this unit already to be able to open fire on the enemy general. Okay, so that's all. I'm not going to get any more troops here. Enemy general's getting shot down. The enemy cannon's moving forward. And the enemy's slowly advancing into fight. my fire. I'm actually, I think I'm actually going to win this fight. Oh, they're stopping to fire back at us now. There's 46 men left here. 44. There's a risk, maybe, that these guys are shooting the... These in the back. Try to move up. Put yourself behind the wall. The landwehr units are coming up. Ready to uh, shoot the field artillery. And then we have these extra troops ready to be pushed in to the fighting. Onto the wall, if you please. Okay, we got the troops in behind now, firing on the artillery. You're taking a very long. Oh, they're calling a. I think they're calling a charge there. Thing is, I wish to call a charge as well. But my guys are very tired. Or some of them are. I think we c these three units can overwhelm. And then the rest here should be able to move out. And then we'll smash the enemy. From multiple sides. So I'm sending in 250 men. Oh, heroic death. Oh, the French have given up. In one fell swoop. They all give up. And I'm victorious. We did actually hold off. And destroy that force. With just the Landwehr. And the... Um, the Landwehr and the Landwehr. But like the Landwehr, Landwehr, and the Landwehr, Landwehr. Like the la- whatever. Let's go and see if we can can't fight some rebels in Paris. And here we've got the result of the battle. In terms of casualties, it's quite similar. We lost 800 men, compared to the French who lost 900. Uh, however, of course, we outnumber them by 1800, which means that I have a thousand men left after the battle. While the enemy is left with 158. Highest kills goes to Landwehr. The, I believe these are the two initial units. And they're actually able to gain two chevrons each. And then we've got Home Guard doing surprisingly well. Losing many, but also killing quite a few. One Home Guard here only losing 38 while killing 111. Very nice. We've got Landwehr here. They gain post-battle experience as well. How nice. So we saved the town from uh, falling back into French hands. So now we've got... There's not a, not a lot of troops left here. But now we've got experienced Landwehr. Which have increased their accuracy. Very low replenishment rate. 
But I don't think the French will be able to get another crack at this place unless they sent a force from here. But by that time, we should have the Crown Prince of Bavaria should hopefully have joined this area. With that said, let's go ahead and turn and see if they want to attack over here. Only part of the French force decide to attack. So... Hmm. The thing is, I'm noticing other stuff around the map. And also, I don't want to drag out the videos too much. Because... I would very much like to reorganize my army into the new style with steel helmets and then come back afresh with ready, readied armies with set goals and not this sort of stalemate that has occurred and especially now when I'm trying to reorganize. Now it's clearly in my favor but I don't know if we dare if we dare... You know what? This is a great opportunity to get rid of a lot of infantry. We can just throw them straight at them. And it's a good opportunity to take a look at the new Steel Helms. So let's fight this battle. There is nothing for it. Let's go over the top, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna keep my Steel Helms in reserve. But the rest of them are going over the top. Elite infantry as well. This fire is starting. As that does. Oh. Return enemy fire. We'll take a look at the new units. This is a mix of uniforms. You can see some still carry the old one. While some has the newer one. But all have the new steel helmet. Although it does not protect against a direct hit by explosive artillery. But it will help against shrapnel. They seem to be focusing in on the new infantry rather than the old infantry. Or I guess it could be because they're close enough to our artillery. The enemy would do better to focus in on our artillery, as I imagine our artillery is definitely focusing in on theirs. Nice little house. Let's go ahead and see what have, what damage have we done on the French. Not nearly what they've done to us. This piece have been... Oh, this piece have actually almost been destroyed so maybe I shouldn't say that we haven't done that much do a little bit of micromanaging okay some of the units are splintering off as they're advancing but the advance keeps going I think that we uh, probably need to send in these guys as well. We're not going to get a chance to attack twice. These units in the back should hold fire just temporarily for me to halt. Shoot down a lot of that cavalry that's coming up. And then try to organize some of the infantry a little bit. We're going to have this part of the line continuing the advance. While it looks like these guys down here. It's going to have to hold back for a bit. Right. Back on the march, gentlemen. And now the third line is moving in. Although second line isn't much. Wouldn't put that in your Christmas tree. Keep advancing over here. Right, my artillery, still fine, still fine. Plenty enough to return fire on the enemy. So they're down to two cannons in this battery. A single one in this. Two in this. And four in this. 
I'll focus in double strike on that one. Uh, that explosive piece to fire there. Right, the lines continue. We'll have to have this kind of slow advance just because it's rain and I am kind of intending on doing bayonet charges. Maybe not all across the line, but I can see that some units here in the center have been quite weakened by our uh, continuous uh, artillery strikes. Actually, the enemy artillery isn't doing that much to us now. So I want to see if I can weaken some of these units even further. So we can have a breakthrough in the center. And we've got more troops moving in through the center here. Let's see if we can uh, move forward. With a rapid pace. Let's see if we can trade some fire to start off with. I don't think we'll be charging on the left side. There's too much terrain and stuff to stop us there. Let's see, how where am I going to wiggle in the elite infantry? They'll have to stay in the back for now. And then the new helmet guys are going to be back here to start off anyways. Okay, definitely not going to charge in while there's cavalry moving ahead of us. Push down loads of fire on the enemy. And then artillery is joining in, blasting them. Blast the strong units on the flanks. I think we want to blast some of the units here. You know what? I do see our opportunity, don't I? I do think... I'm gonna send these into attack here. I'm gonna make you like that, and then the new infantry it's going to plug that gap that is formed after the units that went charging in. Alright, let's see if we can't overrun the French rather quickly here. Yes, we were able to push them back. And as we push through, I want these units to continue on to the enemy's artillery position. Okay, the new infantry is coming in. Taking up position in the center. Oh, the enemy is doing a counter charge over here. My artillery is still focusing in on this point and sure. Push in. What we'll do is we'll push in this one as well. Then you will move like that, and you will move here. Right, the artillery is getting crushed. And now you can fire at will again. See if we can get some better positions here. And then focus in. Artillery on the three strong units on the right. The French were pushed off. Continue after them. Trying to shoot down all the cavalry over here. Sir! Sir! Our general is under My general, attack. a stray shot going all the way across the map. Being it hitting my general or close to him. Is that friendly? That must be enemy artillery. Odd. Oh, oh, they all gave up. Huh, interesting that they uh in the middle of everything. That's probably gonna Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Soon to be it's already mine, you senile old fool. This is probably gonna leave quite a lot of them left. 
that we're gonna have to chase down. Blast. But this is good. And this will, uh... This definitely keeps the town safe. Here's the result. The enemy deployed 3,000 men, compared to 4,600 of mine. Uh, they lost 2,300, leaving 800. So quite a few of them were able to leave the map unaccosted, while we still have 3,400 men. Let's see, highest kills goes to the field guns, followed by infantry old, whereas infantry new. Infantry new down here, they did not actually perform that well. Um, but that's how it goes sometimes. The good thing is, that rebel army is no longer a threat. However, we do have one to the south. Okay, so we've got an interesting uh, development. We've got a... Um, an invasion of Normandy. The British have launched another launched another army and attacking the unprotected town of Corn. And I was just sending this cavalry to dislodge French Navy over here. There's no way I guess this army Huh. This army needs to be detached then to go and deal with them with the British or maybe not I really want them to be sent down to Toulon or Toulouse I mean to deal with them really want to destroy everything here easy enough but still bit unhappy here, but that should be fixed pretty darn soon. And that outer resolve worked just fine. Combine our troops, move east. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem now to bring all these forces east and take out the British. I want this army down here because I want to make sure that the French don't keep pushing until they take it. And then I have nothing in the way of protecting it and so on but that this should be it for this episode what we're gonna do for the next one is since we don't we don't get that many opportunities to fight the British I'm gonna see about making uh, sure that we fight this on camera but otherwise I might be doing quite a few turns just to get things going like getting these new armies organized and just removing the old infantry and stuff like that. So there might maybe be one or two smaller battles that's done off camera. But that should be like clearing off stuff like this. Hopefully by the next time I should have started on having some of like fully newly equipped armies with uh, some idea anyways of taking on the enemies that are left so destroying the last French bastion looking at campaigns towards the Italians I've seen the Italians actually move through here so we've got kind of an Italians kind of in this area where Italian armies are ready to march I don't know where they're going we do have a force here that needs to be reset though with new infantry should really set something up here so I can drag some of the attention away from here by attacking uh, Venice and then obviously winter will slow this down so we'll be able to set up in between kind of these four places be able to set up armies and then also if I have some money left we might look at Upgrading the navy enough to take out the French, uh, I mean the British here, and then maybe uh, start to uh, think about possible invasions of Britain, but that's quite far away. Also, I did note that the Dutch have a force right here. I'm not entirely sure, I imagine they're gonna attack me, 
I can't think that they're going to attack anyone else. And then also, people ask, I ask people what nations they want me to release. And what I read, I think most were Ukraine, and then Belarus, and then possibly, like, Estonia, I think was uh, one that they wanted. Someone said Poland, but Poland's already under my control. So maybe that won't happen. That would be... I don't. I can't release them like that, and that would be... A little bit silly, I guess, to go through the effort of... You know, starting a rebellion there just to lose my own province and make it a Polish vassal. Anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Our general is under attack. 